And here's another facet of the India-China wars or standoffs. Boycott China. This slogan became a nationwide call recently. When the border is on the boil, should business with China go on as usual? That's what we've been asking every day, bringing you special reports on the show and a reality check. Can India really boycott all things Chinese? The answer is no. In trying to teach China a lesson, India must not inflict damage on itself. So the government is moving carefully. Tonight, we'll break down India's challenges and options. First of all, let's understand the size of the problem. China is India's second largest trading partner, but China benefits more. In the last financial year, India exported goods worth $16 billion to China, one six. In contrast, India imported goods worth $65 billion from China. You see the gap here, 65 versus 16. It is called the trade deficit, and that is a big problem. India's import bill is four times bigger than its export to China. The trade deficit stands at $48 billion. Bring down this number and China will suffer. And that's exactly what the government of India is planning to do. India can effectively hit back at China and save as much as $8 billion in this year alone. So what is the government doing? As a first step, India is targeting cheap imports from China, basic products ranging from furniture to toys, some non-essential and can be can very well be made in India. So the government has asked for a price list, domestic prices of, of similar goods that are made in India. That is the game plan, make in India. 12 priority sectors have been identified and for this domestic production can immediately reduce China's dependence on India. Now what can the government do to stop cheap imports? Either impose fresh taxes or raise existing tariffs on Chinese products. India levies anti-dumping duties on 90 Chinese products. The plan is to slap this on at least 300 more products. There are at least 40 sectors in the Indian industry that can make these products with a much better quality. The government must help them to step up and stop cheap Chinese imports. Now these moves are unprecedented. This is India's biggest cleanup of imports from one country. In the past, India did not want to be called protectionist. It wanted to be seen as liberal. So even with China, India took, always took a case-by-case -case approach. Let me give you some examples. India restricted the import of cheap Chinese tires. That's after the Indian tire industry complained, the tire makers complained. Then India raised the import duty on Chinese lice incense sticks. This was a matter of cultural pride. And India entirely prohibited the import of milk and milk products. All of this happened only after industry bodies lobbied hard. But after this border conflict, it is the government that is taking the initiative. It is the government that is shooting emails to industry bodies. And that's not all. The government is also leading by example in boycotting Chinese products. First, it asked state-run telecom companies to avoid Chinese products. And now the government wants to keep Chinese products out of the state-run e-commerce platform. This is an e-marketplace. It is used by central government agencies to buy goods. The new rule says this says this, in fact, all sellers must disclose where the product was made. And this is no small platform, we can tell you. It sees transactions upwards of 55,000 crore rupees. So how will disclosing the origin of the product help? Government agencies won't buy made in China products. What about Amazon and Flipkart, the two largest e-commerce platforms in India that most people use? The government wants them to, to disclose the origin of the product. A video conference will be held with these companies tomorrow. So consumers can make a choice where they're buying from and the government can keep track of where the products are coming from. China, you see, is notorious. Even if cheap Chinese products are banned in India, China may find a way to dump its products in India indirectly. So Delhi is also reviewing its trade pacts with other countries because China is dumping goods in India via common trade partners. That's also the reason why India did not join RCEP. India knows this will have to be fought tactically with minimum collateral damage. It is using a combination of measures to hurt China. Increased tariffs, no government procurement, restricted presence on e-commerce platforms in India and reviewing trade details. Slowly but surely, India is boycotting China.